Hey everybody! Welcome back to Northern Lion Plays The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. It is going two wins in a row. Well, hold your applause, please. <laughs> How to jump old bandage. 8W7N DQW8. This is actually uh, pretty solid, although our starting stats seem pretty bad. What's nice about it, or, oh lordy lordy, get me out of there. What's nice about it is, you know, we do have a little bit of a, a gap closer. Not to put it in full on, you know, MOBA slash Overwatch terms, but not even a gap closer, but a gap creator is going to be really nice here. Our damage is pretty shitty though. But we can keep bouncing all day. We can do a little moonwalk bounce. We can do a little lateral bounce. It doesn't really matter. We can do a little bounce, 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 bounce. Hopefully we get maybe a small rock from this tinted rock if we're even able to open it. Oh my god. It, 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 is that a, like, it's not even worth using how to jump to get and potentially taking damage to pick up infestation. Infestation is best used as a potential pedestal for like a perthro rune. I would rather hold off for like the 1 in 100 chance of that Perthrow rune showing up than, than risk taking damage to pick up an item of the caliber of infestation. In more uh, grotesque terms, I wouldn't fuck infestation with your dick. This is an item to, you know, the first Afterbirth mod I make. In, we're gonna, this is a serious comment and I'm being serious and not sarcastic in my seriousness here. We're gonna fix... The infestation names, okay? Infestation, infestation 2, they're gonna be standardized, so it's not that infestation 1 does something completely different than infestation 2, like different sides of the spectrum, alright? Infestation 2 is gonna be called infestation 2, the mulligan is gonna be called infestation 1, infestation is gonna be called, sorry you picked this up, you must have had Curse of the Blind or no other choice on this earth. That's the first mod. That's gonna be easy. You're just changing around an item name. Should only take eight or nine weeks to get that through to QA. Alright, secret room. Probably not. Tell you straight up, this floor's been hot shit so far. Oh, that's the ticket though. For all of my complaining, we finally have the chance to get something done about it. What do we got? 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 It's good! We got another bomb that we can use for ourselves here. I'm just trying to see if maybe we have an outside chance to get to five cents. Unlikely. We might want to use our bomb on the boss. Ooh, you know what? I'm gonna try to shoot the moon a little bit here. Maybe get a second, uh, or, sorry, maybe get an arcade out of this if possible. Oh, that's really good. Got eight cents. Can't really buy anything. If we want to still have an arcade on the next floor, and I really want to have an arcade on the next floor because Old Bandage kind of shines in that environment, but I'll admit Mom's Purse is tempting as well. What would be the ideal boss fight here? 1000% Famine. Alright, Little Horn is actually probably the worst. Simply because of the fact that um, it's got a lot of HP. And unless we are able to uh, convince him to spend a nice uh, extended holiday in the fire, or alternatively blow himself up with his own bombs, we're gonna be here for a while. But that's okay, because we did get our dream come true in that shop. We spent a key and got like seven cents out of... Well, we spent a key and a bomb and got seven cents. I guess all these consider that doesn't sound that good, but it also gives us the very real chance to get something of value on our next floor and use our advantages there for the better. What do we need here? Certainly not HP. I would be happy with any other any other stat that you want to give me, basically. Even, you know, range plus luck. Tears, obviously, very important right now. Damage, very important. A, a familiar that does damage, like a little Steven, would be okay. But we don't have, uh... We don't have a beat on any of that stuff yet. Finally, 45 seconds later, this fight is over. We got the one thing I said we didn't need, but you know what? You always sort of need HP in the early game. We don't have an arcade starting right next to us, which actually... Ah, I thought we were safe there. Which actually frightens me a little bit here. Don't forget about how to jump. By the way, I left Infestation. I recognize this. I could have tried the how to jump into it um, and then gotten it, or I could have used one of our bombs to pick it up instead. Admittedly, 
for blood bank usage, there's value there. But the item is shit. It's it's no good. And this is the angriest I've ever been because it's an issue, probably the only issue on planet Earth I'm actually passionate about. Not Isaac specifically. No. Oh my god. You you turd liquor. How'd you how dare you? Where's my blood bank? Um You have stolen my blood bank. Anyway. Len, steal my sunshine. They pay me five bucks a video to keep them in the public consciousness. I'm still feeling you, Len. I'm waiting for the comeback tour. You can't stop the bum rush 2.0. Ooh, that must be a library or something then. You know what? Number one inhibits us, but also empowers us. By giving us a restriction, it's also giving us the tools we need to succeed. Now, we need to stand right next to an enemy in order to kill them. In order to hit them, rather. Um, which enables us to kill them. Uh, but still, this is this is good because now we've got actually some offensive potency, and I, I appreciate that. If we get one more key, we're going to go back to that room that I am going to assume is a library because how to jump doesn't necessarily, you know, buy us a, a whole lot of value here. Just be careful; I don't want to accidentally jump into them. There we go. So you want the Eternal Heart, of course. You have to notice that even with uh, number one, we're not firing like, you know, gratata. We're just kind of firing like gratata. So we could use a little bit more. Thank God none of those were uh, troll bombs or we'd be in hell right now. Ooh, wow. A fully completed HP upgrade. From one room, no less. That's a, that's a little surprising. Now, Monstro, by and large, not a boss you want to stand right next to because those shots are going to be very tough to dodge um, without having any perspective on them but it's going pretty well so far I really don't want to spend our bombs they might end up being uh, quite precious to us give us the ability to open some tinted rocks on the next floor or, you know deal with some enemies that are particularly annoying here they may give us the ability to bomb our way into our shop which honestly depending on what we get on the secret room uh, in, the, in that hypothetical scenario in which the secret room does garner us access there could be very worthwhile. Sure, tears up, shot speed down. Our effective range is going to be absolute trash, but we get contract from below and dark bum, both of which are good. Our range is actually horrible. If I could go back in time, I would probably not do this. But I'm also me, so sorry. Let me rephrase. I'm also a me, Mario. But um, I, I, I might not do this if I went back in time. But at the same time, with the dope rhymes that I kick, uh, you know when I know, float some old funky shit. To add to my collection, the selection symbolizes dope. Take a toke, but don't choke. If you do, you have no clue of what me and my homie Snoop Dogg came to do. It's like this, and that, and this, and uh. Well, the only way... F I mean, I actually don't know where our secret room is. I'm looking at it here. I'm thinking that it maybe has to be here, almost? Okay, well, disregard. Um, we're done with this, and we're in, in such a strange situation right now. We have okay damage, absolutely no range. To the extent where, like, range is really the best item or attribute at least we could hope to improve right now, which is kind of funny. Normally you don't see that happening. I thought maybe if we jumped through the door we wouldn't take damage. It's what, it sounds like one of those old, like, schoolyard rumors you have about a video game. Yo! If you put the Herodric Malice in the Herodric Cube, you get a picture of Charcy naked. No way, dude! Yeah, check it out. That one is true, though. Um, no, it's not. Oh, my lord. Let us succeed on this run. And let it begin with me. You know why? Because I would very much like... I'd, I'd like to vindicate number one. Every time I pick up number one... Get a couple of angry comments, even sometimes spreads to Twitter. They go, hey, shithead, number one ruined your run, you fucking idiot. And that's, you know, I've, I'm using nicer language, believe it or not. So I gotta, I gotta prove that number one has the, the knowledge to get it into college, you know? I gotta prove that when it's on its back, it's got the knowledge to get what it wanted. Northern Lion, was that a reference to Balance Sebastian's Smash debut album? Uh... Hold up. If you're feeling sinister, yeah. Sorry, my brain, my brain queued up that like memory retrieval job, but it was like first before you do that, do me a solid and actually focus on dodging for a minute here. And I appreciate uh, that we were able to compromise there. 
sweet, nothing of value. Alrighty. Um, what do we need on this floor? Well, to be honest with you, we're not urgently fucked. You know, this is not like a call 911 situation. This is like a drop by your local police uh, constabulary at, at your leisure and be like, hey, you know what? Our neighbors might have a meth lab. This is not like, oh my god, I got in a car accident. I need the jaws of life right now. This is like, our neighbors might be the Zodiac killer, right? Like, it's not urgent that you report that. I mean, you could just get it connected, uh, you know, knock out a couple of errands in the same day. You know, go get groceries, you know, bring your recycling to the recycling depot, and then turn in a Zodiac killer. Help. Okay, we're actually pretty set here, as long as we can... Just make the most clutch dodges of all time, apparently. What what I would really love on this floor, I mean, it's it's obvious. It's, you know, six of one, half a dozen of the other, every single run. We need a deal with the devil. If we can get a deal with the devil... Oh, almost dodged right into that. And the deal with the devil actually provides us with some offense, especially some long-range offense. Something that completely mitigates our range down, for example. Like, uh... Like Brimstone, as if I can... If you'll allow me to be a little cliché. Unfortunately, the odds of that are, you know, 25% on this floor if I don't take red heart damage. Then you've got to have an item in there that's actually valuable. I mean, first you got to have an item in there to begin with, which is potentially tricky. Okay, now that we've got two extra keys, thanks to contract from below. Monkey's paw could be better. Could be better. What's better? Three black hearts if things go wrong, or a 25% chance to come back to life if things go wrong. Probably the three black hearts. Is my guess. Little chest. Could be worse. Even though I don't really know what it does. Could be worse. Gonna go back and pick up Monkey's Paw. Gotta get that monkey. Is that, where, where do I know that song from? Okay, oh, we don't have any bombs. This Tinted Rock tried to get all sneaky like. It's like, hey, you don't even see me. I'm blending in with the walls here. Just because you're wearing the same color shirt as the wallpaper because it's made out of the wallpaper doesn't make you invisible, Zach Braff. Get out of here with your 2004 existential NY uh, complaints. Oh, nobody notices me, but also my shirt's the same color as the wallpaper. Go back to med school, JD. Zero stars. This is not actually like a zero star movie, but anyway. Okay. We got a pill. The pill is thankfully not range down. I think we got to at least acknowledge that. I'm also going to acknowledge that Peep may indeed be like the worst boss fight we could possibly expect here. Um, if he pees himself... I may not be able to hit him until after his pee has evaporated. So I'm trying to stay in there and hoping maybe this is baiting him into other attacks, but it's honestly probably like the placebo effect working out here. Um, if he pees, we can't hit him. So the longer that he spends jumping and not peeing, the happier I am for sure. Oh, uh, we can still hit him. It's a bit of an exaggeration to say we can't hit him, but... Our ability to deal damage is certainly, you know, somewhat compromised as a result of this. You know, thankfully we have some bombs to deal damage, and our spacebar item is quite potent offensively. <laughs> oh, sorry! My mistake! We have no bombs and our shit's all useless. Oh, good. You've telepilsed me. Okay, well, you know what? We should actually get those four bombs. Sometimes I am guilty of... Ooh, nice dodge there, uh... White Goodman, let's get over here. As is the main, well, it's not the main character of Dodgeball, but it is a character on Dodgeball. Oh, we've lived. We've lived till the next floor and burned off one floor of deal with the devil penalties, at least. Um, what I'm thinking right now is we'll use the Emperor card urgently, because we're probably not going to get boss rush on this slow-ass run anyway. Um... We'll use boss rush, or sorry, use the Emperor card urgently to teleport out of a room in which we have no, uh, no business being. Like a boss trap room, ma, uh, I was gonna say a moss trap room. This is nonsensical. Uh, I think I'm gonna blow you guys up. I want the red hearts, though, just for the record. I don't want, uh, I don't want Dark Bum to get those red hearts. 
Because if Dark Bum picks them up, they might become spirit hearts. But if I get them, they could become anything. I think we should try to use these. Oh, dude, that's awesome. A power pill? I want to keep having the ability to play um, the blood bank, basically, which is why... Ooh, we almost went a little too hard there. The luck upgrade's nice. I want to have the ability to um, get the HP upgrade, so this is why I want the red hearts for myself. Come on. No IV bags, baby. Although, that might not be bad with old bandage. Can't believe we actually did manage to snag one more play out of that. Okay. Ooh, baby, I love your way. Starring Peter Frampton, and by starring, I mean written and recorded by. This is good. Hopefully we get some more red hearts in the vicinity. Come on, come on. You know what? Fuck with me on this run. Give me a cricket's body. I want to see how bad it can get, and I want to make it work regardless. Dark Bomb obviously gives us a really nice amount of tolerance surrounding this run in the sense that I can take some pretty shitty damage and still be totally fine. But we need to get these red hearts to begin with in order to make that happen. But the red hearts for now belong to me, of course. Uh, yeah, save the Emperor card, man. Honestly, we may want to use this to just get through the womb one if we manage to make it that far. And then, again, every extra deal with the devil gives you a chance to pull yourself out of this mess. Sack of pennies. Pretty much absolutely worthless. Uh, hilariously enough, because it actually literally gives us money. But uh, I would love to get Bloody Penny at this point. That could provide me with enough value to feel happy about that pickup. Sure, we got two bombs for a bomb and a key. It's not a bad trade. A bomb and a key and peel. A ball with the ball, the bang, the bang, dicky. Um, throw the hickey in your face and up jump the boogie. I don't think I've actually heard ball with the ball since I've started referencing it. So we're coming on like four years now. Another power pill. We'll hold it for now. But, uh, I might just want to use it against the boss, honestly, instead of on the arcade. A little bit because I'm lazy, admittedly, but, uh, it's not like it's not valuable against the boss. It's still valuable against, uh, against the boss. That belongs to me. Thank you. Oh, these belong to me. Thank you very much. Okay. Power pill against the frail. This has worked out better than my wildest dreams could have ever prepared me for. Oh, and then we got just absolutely torqued in the fucking face. One more hit's gonna do it, though. We did get a deal. We got Mom's underwear for a range upgrade. Ah, all is forgiven. And Death's Touch. Alright, it's a start. It's a darn start, you know? That one's for you. Thank you. We got a chance now. We haven't seen our shop on this floor, and we definitely want to. Oh... Is it all saved? No, I don't think we can say that yet, but... Certainly, the fact that we have range and some damage and piercing shots actually is, is quite useful here. Red Candle. I honestly think we have to take it instead of the, uh... Instead of the ability to jump. How to jump has been okay, but... We're much better off with Red Candle. An item that can actually do some damage to enemies. In a way, enhances our functional range as well, for that matter. But let's move it along here. I think we've survived the hardest part long enough to actually get ourselves into safekeeping here. So, what do we got here? Okay, Magic Mush, followed by a teleportation into getting an orbital, which actually, you know, creates a range problem for us, but in a way that we're probably very likely to be positive towards. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with this, actually. I'm very happy with the Magic Mushroom pickup, even though, I mean, as you're probably aware from our damage right now, our DPS is still relatively bad, but the Magic Mush pickup puts us on our way, for sure. Okay, and don't forget about uh, Red Candle here holding it down. That was my own fault. Uh, got a little too close to the turret there. I still think that room's bullshit. And here's why I think it's bullshit. I'm going to try to articulate it instead of just being, you know, an angry person about a video game mechanic, because I'm not actually angry about it, but you get the idea. Um, the rule that we're taught throughout the game is that uh, 
the blue ones aggro towards you when they see you. They don't always aggro toward you, towards you, but they sometimes aggro towards you. The way you're actually supposed to solve that room to have the highest amount of, or highest degree of potential success, to the best of my knowledge, and as many people have told me, is to hit the two on the sides and then go for the one in the middle. Which I just find inconsistent with the game's logic regarding the blue turrets. It doesn't bother me in the sense that, you know, it's a slight against me as a player or anything like that. It's more, at, at what point do they tell you, excuse me, this belongs to me. At what point in the game do they tell you that that's, that's the way that that's going to work? You know, you, you can't possibly divine it for yourself. It's just trial and error. It's a very minor nitpick, but I find it annoying nonetheless. And I, I'd like to bring up these minor nitpicks to, to combat the stereotype. Not even stereotype, but to, to argue against the idea that you can't criticize a game if you love it. And not even just on the level of like, you know, oh, where does it fit in the pantheon of modern media in this digital age? No. More like, you know, I like this game, I love this game. But mechanically, there's a couple of things that just make me... They make me shake my head and say, you guys were on a you were on a different plane than the rest of us when you were making this. Sometimes that's great. There's a lot of ideas in here that I uh, never would have thought of myself. And there's probably a lot that, um, oh lord, what, we got the mom transformation? Yeah, I guess we did, after getting mom's purse. Um, there's a couple ideas in here that I'm like, man, I never would have done that. Like, removing looping from the chest was like... It was very silly to me, let's just put it that way. I don't think it, I don't even know if it was an intentionally like, we're gonna remove looping from the game, or it was, we're gonna change the game mechanics to handle things in a different way, and as a consequence, looping is gonna be gone. But anyway, I miss, I miss taking on Defiant down to the chest and just jamming, you know, eight or nine floors out of it. But I'm sure that that will be uh, moddable as well. Anyway, down to the next floor. We're, we're doing a lot better now. I mean, Death's Touch, Magic Mush, a range upgrade. Cuba meat to a slightly lesser extent. These are all extremely helpful. Red candle, of course, as well. Uh, we, we've really kind of grossly improved our standing on this run. We're, we're actually killing things. Not immediately, but or not as quickly as I'd like, maybe. But killing things nonetheless. Uh, let's get fucking weird. Why, why take this? Well, immediately upon fighting this room, I'm like, maybe we shouldn't have. Um, the reason is, I already have a high-powered shot that shoots straight. It's called Red Candle. Now I've got a high-powered shot that shoots on the diagonals as well, and nothing can stop me. And by nothing, I mean hopefully nothing. And by hopefully mo nothing, I mean I have no idea. But, uh, I also, you know, it's self-serving, but I like to consider myself the home for misfit toys sometimes when it comes to Isaac. And the items that nobody else wants to fuck with and obviously it's not nobody else, because, I mean, there's millions of people that have played these games. But the items few people want to fuck with, I want to fuck with. Give me your cursed eyes. Give me your dunce caps. I will die with them enough times to figure out how to win with them. 50% of the time. Wow. Uh... Struck out pretty hard on the red chest. Oh, that was the worst damage of all time. How did that even make it in there? It made my voice crack. And not in a cool way like, Ursher, sure, we've got the shit to make your booty go smack. Well, we're running. We're running low on the old HP front here. We got no deal with the devil. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, hook me up, dude. Thank you. I will take that red heart for now. Dark Bomb has been fantastic for us so far when it comes to actually uh, making the... I guess making the leap from this being a, a fun and doomed run to a fun and like potentially actually functional run. Why don't you take that one? If we low on Red Hearts, we'll take him. If we aren't low on Red Hearts, you can take him. Give me a Bloody Penny or something like that. I can feel the heart beating as one. And I, I smell the dreams of... The future here. I don't know what that's supposed to mean, except for being a weird Yola Tango reference. Okay, we can probably do this. Ooh, 99 bombs. This is a... I've never seen, I think, the room be in this location. Well, it's gonna hurt. <laughs> I just think at that point we have to just accept it. Did it at least give us the bridge? It did. Okay. Oh my god. Now we can't get out of here without getting Bob's brain. This is a very weird way to have to do things. 
But we did do it nonetheless. Starting to realize probably should open each room with a red candle. Oh, this it just keeps getting stranger and stranger. Lucky us. Our HP is not very good. We haven't been to our shop on this floor, and we really, really should go. As much as my natural inclination much of the time is, you know, just get to the boss fight as soon as possible. Oh, my lord. Um, in this case, this is the wrong idea, probably. Not guaranteed, but probably. Come on, you, you cheapskates. Where's my, uh... Where's my cricket's head? We've been opening stone chests like crazy. Can't get a cricket's head for the life of me. Or the death of me, as this case may be. Damn, I'm still thinking back to that uh, crawl space location. Very strange. Let's see what we got over here. It's our, it's our shop again. We get charged, baby. We get the strength card. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Can we really get this thing up to 500 on the last two runs? It's a little silly. There we go, 20 cents. What's this, telepills? We could take um, placebo telepills, which is a great name for like a 12-year-old kid's science fiction universe. Like, that's not the name of the universe. That's the name of like the science officer aboard the USS, you know, dick face or something like that. That's not meant to be an insult either. If you, if you are the 12-year-old writing that right now, yo, follow your dreams, man. That's how Ray Bradbury got started, probably. Just go for it. Just go with it. Starring Adam Sandler. And other people. Jennifer Aniston, I think, was in that one. She's been in some of them. Oh, come on. Ah, it's the wrong item, you jerk. Not that lump of coal would really benefit us that much here. Now I'm coming to the grim realization that we're on the womb and we're essentially three hits away, four hits away from death at any given moment. So, um, be smart with, well, with everything, but certainly be smart with Bob's brain here. Oh, the extra spirit heart is very nice. I still, like, I, I gotta say, gotta try to become guppy here. Hasn't really worked out very well so far. Hematemesis is quite nice. Give me some spiders, at least. Uh, I think I'm just going to telepills out of here. And you know what? If we end up leaving our strength card behind, that's fine. I romance the thought of leaving it all behind. Kanye, step away from the lime light like when I was on the grind in the 1999, you know? You know what I'm talking about. This guy definitely knows what I'm talking about. That was very close. Oh, that! why did I move before taking that shot? It was not worth it. This was not worth it. Is there a secret room out here? Oh, there is, and I still took damage by not believing in myself. That's why you always got to believe in yourself, kids. Whether you think you can or you can't, you're right, okay? I do want to check that. This is going to be this is gonna be down to the wire, I'll tell you that much. This is where we bring it back I can already feel the delicious devil deals coming my way here you know what just throw some bombs down as a preventative measure nice great work oh okay we got incubus that's pretty good I'm gonna try to fit in there Please give me HP so that even if I get hurt, I'm not dead when I come out of here. Oh, you're the best, man. Okay. I mean, I would have preferred a couple of different things than Incubus, but Incubus admittedly is a very, very nice damage buff for us here. We're seeing the true power of uh, Dunscap here. For one very specific subset of enemies. Makes my life a lot easier. Hate this room. Want to clear out the enemies that uh, can actually be hit by Dunscap first. Then we'll worry about the others. Starring Nicole Kidman.
No spirit hearts out of that tinted rock. Life's cruel, kids. Most of the time, it's pretty sweet, though. Like, I mean, sometimes you're like, man, there's like a lot of like famine, environmental destruction, like human suffering. You know, man fighting his brother over resources. And then you like go to Dairy Queen and you're like, can I have a mint chocolate chip blizzard? And you eat it and you're like, you know what? Planet Earth is like pretty okay. A lot of people really resonated with that. <laughs> I'm, I'm being a little bit reductive here, but a lot of people resonated with that comment I made like 10 episodes ago. And they're like, you know what? As long as I can get some dope ravioli, life's okay. And I, I generally do believe in that. You know, human suffering is ubiquitous. Eventually we all die alone. But at the same time, have you ever eaten, like, a stuffed crust pizza? It's fucking delicious. Is that not worth it? That's worth it for me, man. It's not only the stuffed crust pizza. I mean, what's bullshit is that, you know, if you want a stuffed crust pizza, you have to order one separately. Oftentimes, the Pizza Hut buffet won't actually stock one, which I think is very silly, but, uh... I'm gonna try to blow these guys up here. Um, but the idea is... Give me a red heart, and that's even why I played the blood bank when I probably shouldn't have, because I thought we'd have a chance to get a red heart out of it, and then I thought we'd get the red heart in the explosion there. And the thinking is, we come back here, play the red heart, get a red heart back, but also get a chance at the HP plus speed upgrade. Obviously, this has not worked out in my favor so far, but we wanted to do this anyway, because now we're at a half heart interval. That hopefully... Proves conducive to success for us. Two luck upgrades is is beautiful, man. If we can make it to the chest, and I don't mean this like as a fringe case scenario. This is a real genuine possible win condition for us. If we can make it to the chest with all the luck upgrades we've gotten, there's a genuine shot, I think, at us uh at us getting enough chest to buoy us into success. Is that how you pronounce buoy? I think it's how you pronounce buoy. B-U-O-Y? Buoy? Boy, <laughs> what up? It's your boy. Just hanging out here in the ocean, denoting aquatic landmarks for you to take advantage of when you're navigating here on your steamships. Oh, we're getting like it's weird how we get three drops sometimes. I guess you know what it is now that I think about it. Little chest combined with contract from below. We get contract from below, drops a key. Or sorry, just regular room drops a key, contract from below doubles it, and then um, little chest sometimes is going to drop the same thing, and it's going to look weird. We're going to be like, huh, why are there three of these when there should be two or four? It's just a optical illusion there. Sweet. Appreciate it. Friendly spider, at least, and also, of course, you know, one spirit heart could end up making all the difference down here. Run continues to be uh, quite strange. Strange like an upcoming Marvel property starring Benedict Cumberbitch. It's not his real name. I'm not trying to insult him. I think he's a high quality actor. I do like saying his name in a funny fashion. If he would like me to stop, I would respect that. Um, should probably assume that he would like me to stop, but I'm not going to do that, no. I don't think he's really being hit here. I'm not talking about Benedict, Benedict Cumberbatch talking about mom's heart why is mom's heart uh, male it's very simple um, you know each of the internal organs has its own gender liver is male the heart is male the appendix is female kidneys are female lungs are female look at read it read a medical textbook sometime didn't spend six years in evil medical school to be called Mr. Evil. Dude, seriously. It's getting a little silly here. With the lack of benefits you give me. Is it because you're scared that if you give me too many benefits, I'm going to succeed? And indeed, with success, there comes a great responsibility. We chose to lead, not follow. It's a hard pill to swallow. Better get prescription filled because there might not be tomorrow. That's a new reference. That's Big Boy from 2010's uh, magnum opus, Sir Luscious Left Foot. I, I actually, it's not a new reference at all. I think I referenced Shine Block as like two days ago. Well, the deal with the devil, uh, well, Judas's tongue is not going to give us anything because we're not going to get deals with the devil from this point onwards. 
I worry that we're a little weak to handle the chest at this point. Uh, but... Oh, that is not gonna help. We still could. You know, we're probably not gonna get any items for the rest of this uh, floor. Rib of Greed is also worthless. Oh, it's a little ballsy. Um, we still could. We got those four items on the chest. Maybe we get an Emperor card or something that allows us to pull out of this. I mean, the Sun card is pretty useful here. I don't think we're close to death. We had Spirit Hearts. You know what? Rather than risking our HP, let's let D uh, Dark Bomb get those. And uh, he has a chance to return on the investment with, with no risk. So rarely do you get a deal that good in this day and age. Am I right or am I right? Bumbo. Can't really see where I'm walking on that side. Ooh, we did it. Ball's only clenched in a little bit. Clenched in? Clenched up? I don't know the proper nomenclature for clenching. We need the speed, man. Um, I mean, admittedly, the Bible tract might be better. You got me, dude. Yeah. Admittedly, Bible Track might be better, because we have 22 keys, but maybe we're going to get a lot of chests as a result of our luck upgrades. Could happen, man. Could happen. Sweets. Okay. It is not a black market. It's three cents. I was going to say, Bumbo, if you can take the shortcut, they belong to you as far as I'm concerned. Alrighty. This is your money as well, buddy. Don't want all your shitty sins. I would just use them on the judgment. Give them to Bumbo. Give them to Bumbo. I don't think we're going to get a max level Bumbo on this run, but the chance exists. Appreciate that Bumbo's hanging out near the enemy hitbox, giving us a good chance to, uh, pick up money with basically no risk inherent to ourselves here. Give them to Bumbo. To the tune of Super Tramps Take the Long Way Home, it's Northern Lion singing Give Them to Bumbo. Get off the stage! We want Carrie Underwood back! She never left. In many ways. Oh, we good. We good. That's yours, Bumbo. Down to the next floor, we're gonna probably save the sun card. Save the sun card. To get to full HP after we get hit like once. But the soul is pretty useful. As is the parasite. Um, everything else is, is pretty horrible here. So I think we actually, ideally, I, I'm playing with fire a little bit here. But the parasite's pretty good. What we're gonna do with the soul is, is wait until we get hit once if we can ride that. And then we'll pick up the soul, and we should be able to garner more permanent Polaroid invincibility than you'd expect out of that. But, admittedly, we're, we're rolling the dice. But if I find myself in a truly scary situation, that's when we should just pop the sun card. But I'd really like to get all the value out of the uh, invincibility if possible. Quite, oh, we totally have a max level Bumbo. Uh, quite frankly, because I'm, I'm scared of our run right now. But you know what? Let's just take Maggie's bow. Um... Which makes us less likely to have to worry about it. Also less likely to succeed on that condition, but still. You know, get back to full HP. And then as we choose, we can basically go back and get the soul. Which is going to be very helpful for fighting fighting the boss. And every single room that we come across up to that point. Okay, we are already on the boss fights. You know what? Forget the soul. Let's just finish this off. We got the sun card. Why, you know, you never listen to MGMT? Take only what you need from me. I don't really remember how all the lyrics go, actually, to be honest with you. There you go. We succeeded on that run. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.